Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me on our regular Sunday. Today I have the Bear Grylls Survival Master Chronograph from Luminox as part of Luminox, Luminox Palooza Month. And this is model number XB.3748. Again, this is the fifth review of Luminox Palooza Month where I'll be reviewing exclusively Luminox watches for the whole month of June. And this is to celebrate Luminox's 35th anniversary. They started back in 1989. If you buy a watch from Luminox this month, you get a fantastic discount. Make sure you watch to the end. I know y'all already know the discount code. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'll be giving away uh, four prize packs at the end of the month. Actually, probably starting the first part of next month. Uh, you get a Revo Luminox pair of sunglasses, which are about $245, a Luminox hat, a Luminox shirt, uh, the hat's 40 bucks, the shirt's about 30 bucks, a 35th anniversary challenge coin, and a multi-tool. And since Father's Day is also in June, send me your best dad joke. That's how I'm gonna determine who is gonna win one of these four prize packs. There are gonna be four total winners, and uh, each one of you are gonna get everything that I just listed. And uh, make sure you send me your best dad joke, uh, whoever makes me laugh the hardest, those are going to be one of the winners. And I've had some really fantastic submissions so far. And this is only open to subscribers in CONUS, which stands for the Continental United States. Guys, shipping outside of the Continental United States is just insanely, insanely expensive. Anyway, as usual, go ahead and check out all the packaging and everything you need to know. And uh, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys, since this is the Bear Grylls watch, you get a special outer sleeve with Bear Grylls right there. Let's go ahead and open this up. As usual, I'll give you all your seven specs you need to know, and we'll talk a little bit more about this watch. I reviewed one of these, I think, four years ago, uh, and I liked it. It does have a couple flaws, in my opinion, uh, but overall, I do like the watch. Pretty cool. Here's your first look at it. This has got the gray or silver uh, colorway going on. And my main complaint, and I might repeat this a couple times in the review, my main complaint is this is not the most legible version of this. Uh, I think the one I reviewed had a yellow dial that was incredibly legible. This is just not as legible. It looks really cool, don't get me wrong. I mean, the watches, the whole collection of these uh, survival series from Bear Grylls look really cool. But this one in particular, just because of that silver colorway, the silver hands, uh, it's just not as legible, in my humble opinion, as some of the other colorways. I think they've got like three or four different colorways for this thing, if I remember correctly. Um, yeah, they got a black dial, they got a yellow dial, they have like a like an olive drab or like military green dial, and then of course they have this dial, which is the silver dial. So anyway, so there's the watch. Uh, you get a warranty card right there. And that's it for this one. Here's your first look at it. This comes with the removable compass, which is pretty cool. Everything's still got the plastic on it. Let me take the plastic off here. Here we go. There you go. There's a better look at the watch. I mean, it's a good looking watch. I just love the dial. The dial's really busy. It's got a lot going on, but it's really neat. All right, so let's good. All right, so let's go ahead and put this stuff away. Let me give you the seven specs you need to know, and then we'll talk more about this Bear Grylls watch from Luminox. All right, that's a good looking watch, man. All right, so looking at a 45 millimeter Carbonox case, it's 14 millimeter stick, it's 55 millimeters lug to lug, comes on a 24 millimeter rubber strap, again with that removable compass right there. Uh, you get a water resistance of 300 meters, which is 990 feet. You get the Ronda 5030.D movement inside with about a four and a half uh, year battery life. And of course you get a sapphire crystal with AR coating. Let me take it off the pillow here. Let me also show you the tag. So there you go, X. B374, what is that, eight? Yep, there you go. It's a good looking watch. Again, I love also the orange rubberized crown. Makes it incredibly easy to unscrew and screw back in. It's got a lot of grip on it, which I love. Of course, that crown is also signed. Really nice right there. You got your pushers. And I don't know if you can see this, but on the pushers, let me actually bring up another picture here. And this is a little detail that's hard to see in this video, 
But right here on this pusher, there's a little orange triangle. And then right here on this pusher, it says reset. I don't know if y'all can see that. I can barely see it on video right here. I might magnify the video so y'all can see that. Pretty cool. Again, you got that big orange rubberized crown. Let me go ahead and push that thing back. Oh my God, buttery smooth for these crowns. Jeez. Wow, that's really cool. Uh, if you look at the dial, you got the Bear grill symbol right there. And if you look up top, you've got the SOS sign right up there on the, the chapter ring. And let me let you listen to that. This is what SOS actually sounds like. They used to think that it meant save our ship or save our souls. It just turns out the SOS in Morse code just sounds really uh, distinctive when you put them together, those letters. The three short dots for the S and then the three long dashes for the O and then another three short dots for the S. Uh, again, let me let you listen to that. There you go. So that's pretty cool that it's got that on there. What else has it got on here? You got 300 meters. Over here, probably near the seven o'clock uh, index, you got the date window down at six o'clock with a black background and white numerals. Really easy to read. Uh, you got Luminox up there at 12 o'clock. Again, you got all your tritium tubes on all of the, um, the indexes. The hour and minute hand also are skeletonized and they do have tritium tubes as well. You got a really thin uh, second hand or actually chronograph hand right there. You're running seconds hand, see if you can see it. It's right there at three o'clock. That's your actual running seconds. So let me go ahead and push the uh, chronograph. There you go. I mean, it's you know pretty self-explanatory, guys. There's the chronograph. I'll go ahead and reset it. There you go, and there's your reset. So I mean, you know, you've seen these watches. Let's check out the bezel. You got your tritium tube up here at twelve o'clock. This is a sixty-click unidirectional bezel. Nice click. It. Holy crap. Really. I mean, no back play at all. I haven't reviewed a watch in a long time that had no back play, and this literally has no back play. Wow, really nice. I mean, guys, these are solid, solid watches. Everything lines up nicely. Here's the other side of the case. You got that little bump right here for aesthetic reasons. Again, here's the other side, your crown, your pushers. You got your 24 millimeter strap. Again, you got a removable compass. And they also have a tool, like a little tiny mini flashlight that you can get you can actually put on here as well. Pretty cool. Here's your buckle. Got Luminox down there. Let me go ahead and show you the uh, the case back. Case back is pretty cool. I haven't taken all the stickers off. Never give up. Laser etched in there. Bare grills. You know, gives you more information about the watch. On these straps, you have these channels that are there to wick away water. Should say 24 millimeter. Yeah, 24 millimeter. Again, the uh, Luminox logo. Luminox logo on the. Um, on the compass right there. Let's go to the other side. Let me see here. What does that say? Genuine rubber or just rubber? Yeah, genuine rubber. You got a movable keeper and you got a fixed keeper. Y'all know I'm not crazy about fixed keepers, but eh. Uh, you got your tang, I'm sorry, your buckle right here. Got the little Luminox logo right there on the buckle. Again, here's your hang tag. And it's a good looking watch, man. I like, I didn't really notice this, but that Luminox logo is kind of silver on that gray background. It almost looks supply, but it's not. Anyway, let me go ahead and try this thing on. Actually, I know it's going to fit, but let me, uh, I'm not going to take the sticker off. But there you go. There it is on the wrist, on my eight and a half inch wrist. I just had my uh, wrist size today at a jeweler because I'm thinking about getting a another watch. Eight and a half. Good Lord. Anyway, there it is on the wrist. Let's go ahead and kill the studio lights. Let's kill these monitors. Let me uh, give you an idea of what that loom is going to look like. Now, remember, this loom... Uh, takes about 25 years to totally decay. After about 12 and a half years, which is its half light, it'll start to dim at about, it'll start to glow at about half brightness. But it will still glow for about 25 years. Now I'm gonna shine this UV light on it. Again, this is not as bright as it is at night, but this gives you an idea of what it looks like. So you get all those tritium tubes. You got the one at 12 o'clock on the bezel itself. 12 o'clock on the dial, so that one's orange, the 12 o'clock is orange, and the minute hand is orange. Everything else is green. Really, really cool looking, man. Love these things, absolutely love them. Really nice. Now remember, let me try to get you in total darkness here. It's gonna be a little bit hard. But there you go, that gives you an idea, and it's gonna glow like that for at least 25 years. Again, 
These don't require any exposure to light. You don't have to charge them up. They're not electric. They're not little like little LEDs in there. This is tritium gas in those little tubes, those little vials. And it's basically a radioactive gas and it's decaying over the next 25 years. So that's what it's gonna look like in the darkness. So it's plenty bright to see what time it is and see what you need to see. Really, really cool. All right, let's go ahead and cut everything back on. Again, I've already reviewed one of these. You know, again, it was four years ago, but I wanna take a look at this particular colorway. And again, this is not my favorite colorway only because the hands kind of blend in with the background with that silver dial a little bit. The hands themselves are silver. Of course, the, the uh, tritium tubes are white. Uh, at least they look white in this type of light. So it's a little bit, it's a little bit hard to see what time it is. Um, not a big deal, but I would probably want to get maybe the yellow model or a different model just for me personally. Some of y'all might absolutely love this and I get it. It's a really, really good looking watch. And again, if you want to get one of these, head on over to Luminox's website. Uh, they are currently $995. I'll put a link down there in the description field. And make sure you use code MAV15 to get 15% off any watch from Luminox for the month of June. That's going to give you 15% off your entire order. And this code is only active uh, from now until the end of June. Actually, it was active like June 2nd or whatever. Uh, but it will be active until the end of June. And guys, that's been about it for this one. Make sure you like and subscribe and make sure you click that notification bell if you like my content. And I really hope you do. I've got one more Luminox roof. I'm gonna try to squeeze it in tomorrow. It might be a few more days. Uh, I have one more Luminox uh, review for Luminox and Palooza month. Uh, and then I'll try to get that. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next review. Take care, bye-bye.